Welcome to Miami. In this video, we're going to break down everything we did on our recent trip to Miami, from our beautiful stay at the Four Seasons in Brickell, food highlights, our exploration of Brickell Key, South Beach, Key Biscayne, all of it. Get ready. We stayed at the Four Seasons in Brickell, snack in the middle of the bustling business district in Miami. This hotel has special sentimental value for us because we got married here in 2017. By far the best aspect of it is the swimming pool. Located on the seventh floor of the building, it's giant. It's one of the biggest pools I've been to in Miami. Great sun deck, cityscape views, you can't go wrong here. The hotel also gives you access to the Equinox gym in the building. It's truly a luxury experience that you never need to leave. The pool area has its own baby section, but our son, he wanted the big pool. Floating in. Many of the rooms have really impressive cityscape and water views of Biscayne Bay. The rooms are anywhere from 20 to 30 plus stories high and they come with all of the Four Seasons accommodations. One of our favorite parts of the stay, though, was walking around the pool deck at night. Look at the moon. Here he's pointing to where mommy and daddy walked down the aisle together. All right, now let's talk about the food. First at the Edge Steakhouse, which is inside the Four Seasons Hotel. I wish I could say only good things because we really enjoyed our rehearsal dinner experience here in 2017, but it honestly didn't live up to expectations. Although this sea bass Wellington was really interesting. They initially gave us the wrong wine when we ordered. This is the second and corrected bottle. So big minus points there when you're spending hundreds of dollars on dinner. These Australian lamb chops were pretty good, but I was hoping for something more Miami inspired on the menu. The sides were fine. Our son was happy with the iPad, of course. And the service was really good. They tried to make it right. Rosetta Bakery though, right next to the Four Seasons Hotel, is a must visit. It's an Italian bakery with all different sorts of pastries and great coffee. Oh, this cappuccino. It's good. Nice frog. They have a few locations in the Miami area. Macchiato. For dinner on one of the other nights, we went to Novacento, an Argentinian steakhouse in Brickell, also close to the Four Seasons Hotel. You'll notice that we didn't travel too far to eat because we're traveling with this guy. And Coco Melon is basically crack for kids. The restaurant's pretty empty at this time because we were dining around 4, 4.30 p.m. These spinach empanadas, our son did try them. He liked them. They were pretty delicious. Nice crusty exterior and delicious spinach filling. But the star of the show is the steak. We ordered one of their steaks for sharing and the quality of the beef was immaculate. They barely even season this meat. It's really with just salt, but it doesn't even need extra seasoning. We paired it with some sides like these truffle fries. It was an excellent dinner, particularly with Malbec from Argentina as well. Grenier is another bakery that we tried. It's a European bakery with a variety of different pastries as well. Our son really loves croissants, so that's why we were frequenting all of these patisseries and boulangeries so much. And Miami actually has a lot of different options for that. Hi, boo. The croissants were crunchy, fluffy, really well executed. Great coffee as well. And this cafe is a nice open space, so perfect for families. Closer to Coral Gables is Maria's Greek restaurant, which had great ratings online, so we had to try it, given our love for Greek food. Right, and it didn't disappoint. Look at this meze platter, just delicious. What's the pink one again? Taramusalata. Taramusalata, and then eggplant. Pita. Beautiful. Mm. 
Maria's is definitely worth a visit. Get some of the Greek beer too. But by far my favorite restaurant of the trip is Versailles. We'd been here before, but never with our son. And it's a really special place in Miami. There, there's another great Cuban restaurant across the street from it, but this one is just very classic Miami. There's always a long wait. I don't think they take reservations, so plan ahead for that. But the service staff was really nice. They saw we had a sleeping child and they actually let us skip the line. So we ordered some mojitos, some yuca fries, Look at that big pitcher of mojito. All right, That's a dangerous drink, by the way. It doesn't even taste alcoholic. I ordered the dolphin mahi mahi, which I don't think is actually dolphin, but regardless, it was delicious. My wife had uh, shrimp in a garlicky sauce. They both came with rice and sweet plantains. Cafe Cubano is a must at the end of the meal. And then we visited the connected bakery next door. This is definitely one of the best places in Miami. One place that we didn't talk about though here is Crazy About You, which we actually went to on my wife's birthday. And unfortunately, it was really disappointing. The menu had no cohesion and I wouldn't recommend it, despite all the good reviews. So here's Brickle Key. This is one of the places that we really enjoy. We stayed at the Mandarin Oriental, which is pictured here. They have a nice walking path around the entire little island here that uh, leads out into Biscayne Bay. And it's just a really peaceful, pleasant walk, especially on a sunny, mild January day like this. So if you're looking for a nice walk in Miami, head over to Brickle Key. Now for our favorite part of South Beach, the Betsy Hotel. We stayed here during our last day in Miami in June of 2022, and we had to return for some cocktails and a bathroom break. This orb right here is actually an art gallery inside the hotel. It's a very art-focused, art-centric hotel. Highly recommend exploring it, even if it's just for a cocktail. Here's the main lobby, which feels like you're in someone's living room. It's a nice spicy margarita. Beautiful. Not for you, Sebastian. Not for you. Not yet. For lunch that day, we walked over to Española Way, which is just behind the Betsy. There's a great Mexican restaurant right there at the front. Great, great salsa and guacamole and tacos, and everything that your heart could desire. But now for my favorite part of the overall trip, Key Biscayne. This is a state park that's only about a 20 minute drive from Brickell. It almost felt like we were driving to the Florida Keys. There's so much to explore in this state park, from beaches to trails, this lighthouse that's pictured up ahead here. You can even climb the lighthouse if you'd like, but we had a big stroller, so we opted not to. For breakfast that day, we stopped at La Boulangerie, which is a French bakery in Key Biscayne. Their pastries were the star of the show. I ordered a croque madame, which was pretty disappointing, actually, but uh, the croissants, all the stuffings that they had too, including the fresh squeezed orange juice at the cafe, all made up for it. They're the oranges. But this croque madame was pretty uninspiring. Now back to the lighthouse and one of the best beaches in Florida. The great thing about this beach too is that it wasn't really crowded. I don't know if that's true all the time, but you'll see here in an upcoming shot that there was a lot of open space on this beach. I mean, you're not going to have the same amenities nearby as you would on, say, South Beach, but it's just a beautiful ocean here.
How do you like the beach, Sebastian? You like the ocean? It's really pretty, huh? Listen to the waves. So if you want a more peaceful beach experience, I highly recommend Key Biscayne. There's a small fee of around five or six dollars to drive into the state park, but it's very much worth it. There's plenty of parking. Yeah. There are restrooms in the park too, and as you see here, people come here and fish. There are great trails to either walk, ride a bike on, do whatever, just enjoy nature here in Miami. Did you put your glasses there by yourself? Wow! Good job. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, and we'll see you on the next video. Do 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 do